Welcome to physics class. In the previous video of motion in one dimension, we talked about average velocity and average acceleration. We say the average velocity is the displacement is the displacement over time or is the average of all the velocities we have. That means if I add all the velocities divided by the number of the data, in this case I have initial velocity and velocity at any time. I add them together and divide by two also is an average. To calculate of average of something, you add all the values you have over the number of the values you have. You get the average. So uh, also we talked about the average acceleration. We say the average acceleration or the acceleration is the rate of the change of velocity. Now from these two equations, this one I call it one, and this I call it two. From these two equations, we are going to get the third equation, we call it displacement equation. The displacement equation is x minus x zero, or we also call it delta x. Remember, in previous example, uh, video, we say delta x is the difference in the position, which is x minus x zero. Now, uh, to find this equation of displacement should be one half times acceleration times t squared plus v zero times t. This is what we are looking for to find the third equation from these two definitions. Now, how we do that? Very simple. What we see in the displacement equation, we don't see if a velocity v means I go here. And they see what this this velocity what that means this velocity v. Velocity v is the velocity at any time t. Now uh, this acceleration times t plus v zero it will be v. So what I did I multiply acceleration times time and I move the negative v zero to the other side it will be plus v zero. So if I go and I replace this v here with this term in this equation and then I solve again for delta x. This is how we get to this equation. I replace v with acceleration times time plus v0 in the definition of the average velocity and then I solve for the displacement. Let's do this. So we say x minus x0 over t equals what one half factor of v zero and then I plug the final velocity here or velocity at any time which is a times t plus v zero. Now what do we see? We have here two v zeros and then it will be one half factor of twice v zero plus acceleration times time. So now if I move this time upstairs. Let's uh, continue here. We said we have x minus x0 over t equals one half factor of 2, 2v0 two plus a times t. Now let's move in this one half. It will be just v0 plus one half times acceleration times t. Now we need just x minus x0. So it means we need to multiply, we need to get rid of a t. So what we have, we multiply each side by t, what we will have, x minus x0. If I multiply each side by t, I have to multiply it here. So it will be x minus x0 equals v0 t plus one half times acceleration times t times t will be t squared. Now we put all the time the power in the front, the one that has higher power in the front, lower power in the back, it will be one half times a times t squared plus v zero times t. x minus x zero, this is our displacement equation. So we have uh, three equations. All we need one more to solve for problem of motion in one dimension. The last equation will be uh, v squared equals to v0 squared plus twice times acceleration times delta x. 
Now we need to find this e equation. Well, we got this equation from just these two definitions of the average velocity and the average acceleration. So what do we see in this equation? Well, we see just the displacement, acceleration, and velocity at origin. Means we don't see time here. Now we go back to my acceleration and I replace the time. In this case, if the acceleration is V minus V0 over T, means T will be just V minus V0 over the acceleration. Then I go back here. I go back here and I replace T with this in this equation. So then what we will have from the equation one, from the equation one, what do we have? We have one half factor of V0 plus V equals to X minus X0 and we replace, we replace this T with this term. What will be? You'll be V minus V0 over acceleration. Now all we do, we solve this equation. So if I move this, if I multiply this term by V minus V0 over A, then what I have to do here, I do the same thing. It will be V, V minus V0 over A. Now what do we have? This, this term vanishes. All I have here left is X minus X0. And here what I will have, one half, I put it in the front, factor of V minus V0. It clean this V minus V0 over A factor of V0 plus V. Uh, this what we will have. Now, the acceleration one half A downstairs, I can also bring it upstairs to the side. What you will see? V minus V0 factor of V0 or V plus V0, same thing, equals twice acceleration. Move, move one half a to the other side, you'll be just twice a factor of x minus x0. Now, what do we see here? We have v plus uh, v0, here v minus v0 equals to twice the acceleration factor of x minus x0. Now, what that means? Uh, uh, this V minus V0 factor of V plus V0 will be just V squared minus V0 squared and equals to twice A delta X. Remember we said X minus X0 is delta X. So it will be delta X. Now if I move V0 delta X, if I move V0 to this side, V0 squared to this side, you'll be here we have negative. When you move to the other side, you'll be positive then V squared will be just twice A delta X plus V0 squared. Now, we have all the equations we need to solve the problem in one dimension. Now, to solve the problem in one dimension, you need to put the table. So, to see, to answer the question very quickly, make the table. That for In this table, you need to put delta X, initial velocity, final velocity or velocity at any time, acceleration, and time. So this table, it, it has to have these five things in it. So then you read your question. Once you read the question, plug the givens on this uh, table. The astro in general, the as uh, instructor, it will give you three things, and then go put, plug them there. These three things, it can be anything from this table. It can be displacement, initial velocity, velocity at any time. It can be acceleration time and initial velocity. It can be anything. You put them in your table and then go to your equations and solve for the other ones. Now we are going to do, uh, we are going to apply these definitions on free fall.